Hi everyone, John Kozeski here with the Talmadge Chamber of Commerce, your small business advocate. Usually about this time we'd be gearing up to see all of you at our April networking lunch, but since that isn't quite possible now, we're instead going to focus on some distance socializing. So to help me with that today, I've invited our good friends from Talmadge Chiropractic. Dr. Uh, Kersick, Dr. Brandon, how is everybody? All right, fantastic. So first and foremost, most importantly, everyone uh, is home and healthy? So far, yes. We're drinking our water and taking our vitamins, so everyone is healthy. There you go. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. So uh, for our viewers at home who aren't familiar, why don't you tell us a little bit about Talmadge Chiropractic? Well, we are here located on uh, East Avenue, right off the circle in Talmadge. Uh, actually, the practice has been around for many years. In 1996, Dr. Lucas actually opened the practice and in 2017 he retired and we took over. So this is our whole staff right here. You're looking at Dr. Braden, uh, myself, my sister right here. Uh oh, we're getting some patients in. Go on in, come on in guys. <laughs> and then we have our clinic manager who's just right there on the side. You guys can have a seat right there for a moment. I love it. This is great. You guys are open for business. It's organic. Yes, it's definitely organic. So, you can come back. so uh, like I said, in 1996, the Thomas Chiropractic opened, but we took over. We do practice a little bit different. We offer acupuncture, which is my sister, Mansura. Uh, we also offer functional medicine, which is Dr. Brady's specialty. And then myself, I, I kind of concentrate on the musculoskeletal pains and aches. Uh, so does Dr. Braden as well. But we do a lot of nutrition work. Um, but pretty much anything that hurts on your body, we can try to tackle. So that's pretty much it. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, uh, you know, all of our businesses are, are affected right now. As we got to see, you are still open. You are in a central business, and uh, you are still treating patients, which is wonderful. But uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about how this situation has changed your business and how uh, Talmadge Chiropractic has responded to it? Yeah, so we have really slowed down as far as patients because we want to make sure we have less people in the office at one time. Um, a lot of times the four of us aren't even here at the same time, um, or one of us kind of, I'll hide in my office if I don't have anybody. We are taking everybody's temperature when they walk in the door, and we always say, did you pass the temperature test? Can we see you today? <laughs> we are cleaning all surfaces, door handles. Um, and biggest thing is just, you know, getting people in, treating them, getting out. If you arrive more than 10 minutes early to your appointment, we ask that people are waiting in their car. Give us a call. We'll wave you in when we are ready to have you because we're trying to have less people sitting and hanging out in our waiting room, which we normally love. <laughs> but unfortunately, we just can't accommodate that right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, those are some great precautions to keep uh, yourself safe and certainly uh, your patients safe as well. So for our viewers at home who, uh, who aren't going to be coming to see you, uh, certainly as our resident health experts, uh, what would you recommend uh, they should be doing at home? Well, one of the things you can make sure you're staying hydrated through this whole uh, epidemic. That's very, very important for all processes in the body to work properly. Um, also keep in mind, you know, you don't have to necessarily stay in the house. You can go out and do some yard work. That's what I've been doing. The last and weekend and so we're coming in you know sore because we're actually enjoying doing some yard work and getting out there and walking but keep in mind that you know you got to keep the distance from anyone that's out there as well in the parks so i definitely that's my recommendation is going out there and doing something that you haven't had time to do before so. absolutely absolutely that's great advice for all of us so uh, as our last question today, uh, you know, it sounds like you've been keeping awfully busy at work, but uh, at the same time, we certainly all have a little extra time on our hands nowadays. Uh, has anyone taken up any new hobbies? Have you read uh, Webster's Dictionary cover to cover or uh, anything else? Other than yard work for right now, for me, that's about it. <laughs> I know you've been doing some reading, right? I've been reading and baking a lot. <laughs> I like Dr. Braden's idea a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I've been making some healthy snacks here, and then uh, I also do a lot of crafting as well. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. All right. I've just been taking my schoolwork outside instead of being locked up in my room all day long. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, when we finally get back to meeting for lunch, if you guys want to bring any of that baking with you, we won't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Well, to our friends at Talmadge Chiropractic, it's great to see all of you today. Thank you for joining us. Uh, to any of our viewers at home that are interested or feel like they're in need of uh, their services, we do have their website right here on the screen. They'd be happy to uh, service you today. So that's all the time we have. Uh, our apologies to Matt Damon that we could not get to your interview, but we certainly will in the next video. In the meantime, keep home, keep healthy, keep shopping local. <laughs>